Hello, welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to be talking about the Detroit Lions. Um, last night, they had the first preseason game of three um, against the New York Giants, and um, boy, it couldn't have started off any worse. First play from scrimmage was an interception thrown by uh, Nate Sudfeld, who I believe is, uh, is definitely not going to be making the team. I'd be surprised if he's anything more than a QB3 until Hennon Hooker gets healthy again, but it just makes it that move that we made for Teddy Bridgewater even better. So, I mean, you can make a positive out of the first play even. Now, even going off of outside of that first play, the place was buzzing. I was at, I was lucky enough to be in attendance. Shout out Isaac and David. And um, we were up there watching the third level. And it was loud. It was loud, man. It, for a preseason game especially. It was loud. It was a good atmosphere. I was super excited. I was like, wow, people are really showing up for this. Like, I kind of love it. So, that was really cool to see. Other than that... Um, even on that interception, right? Right after that, um, Jameer Gibbs on that tackle laid the guy out. And you're like, okay, okay. And then the next play was, uh, you know, next drive, four plays, two yards, instant instant uh, field goal. So good job there. Then they uh, came in, Jameer Gibbs is doing his thing. Um, you know, had a terrible first carry because the offensive line was horrible, man. Uh, we had, I don't even think we had backups in. I think we had like third stringers in or some guys were trying to make the team. It was tough, but... Uh, went for it on fourth down. Unfortunately, Sam Laporta dropped it, which is something you hot, hated to see. But uh, Drummond was out there doing great. Um, you know, obviously the last Drummond in Detroit, it didn't go so well at the end. But it was pretty good run when we had it. But he's obviously the receiver out of Eastern Michigan. So a little stay in state thing. And uh, he's done really well in training camp, like doing uh, everything you need to. But he's gone from undrafted to, you know, having a pretty good role in the preseason and, and playing with the top, top guys. Obviously, JMO also played. He had an unfortunate real deep drop, but he made it back for it with a good two-point conversion later. So other than that, both Alabama guys were awesome. Uh, Brian Branch hit a dude so hard, he had his mouth guard come up here in the top of his helmet. He had like a green thing on there, and you're like, what the hell is that green thing? Oh my God, it's the other guy's mouth guard. So that was awesome to see. The defense overall played pretty good. The D-line was good. The linebackers were doing their thing. Jack Campbell had some tackles, some coverages. Um, secondary did okay. Um, one guy kept getting cooked. I forgot who it was, but he was getting cooked. But it, to be fair, it was by um, uh, Cole Beasley was out there. Cole Beasley and Jamison Crowder. So, like, two legit NFL receivers were playing for the Browns. Jalen Hyatt didn't do anything after winning the Blitnikoff last year in college. He had one catch for negative four yards. And, um, obviously, uh, we had another <laughs> another interception um, with uh, Sudfeld. But, he was, you know, again, he, he's not great. But Teddy Bridgewater's come in, which is awesome. So we're doing our thing. Uh, Adrian Martinez had a pretty good little run there at the end. Obviously, ended up getting that touchdown run to uh, win the game, which is pretty cool. And uh, Benny Snell, the ex, uh, I believe, I think it was, yeah, Steelers, right? Yeah, ex Steelers running back was doing his thing as well. And um, overall, there wasn't really much to complain about for the Lions, man, uh, other than Sudfield. Like, Gibbs was awesome. Brian Branch is awesome. A lot of the rookies made a lot of good steps. A lot of the second-year guys came in, like Zach Pascoe. We haven't seen much from him. Obviously, he got hurt pretty early on from Kentucky, and um, he was doing a lot in that game as well. So I'm very excited. I, I don't know. I didn't want to do too much because it's preseason. You know, probably gonna be like a little short video here, but I just wanted to get my me and my stuff out there that I'm super excited. Um, I know I've I'm I'm ready for this Lions season, man. It's crazy that Michigan and the Lions are both really good this year and have short odds to win a lot of big things so i'm i'm excited man i'm really out here thinking that detroit and uh and michigan are gonna make some make some major noise so crazy if it happens but um i believe it will so let me know down below what your opening thoughts were from the uh first preseason game and um what do you wanted to see more and overall your expectations for the lions but nice to mix up with an nfl video in here um and uh yeah i'll probably try to get some more nfl coverage sprinkled in when i can but obviously it's more college football right now so uh, thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.